Go. Good morning, YouTube. This is King Rancher 13. I've got Kendall here with me this morning. We're going to Mandeville to go take care of a customer who's got a truck that's down because of emission issues. So we're gonna do a little weight reduction on his truck. But wanted to shoot a video on fuel economy on this 2020 now with the weight reduction. It's just gonna be a rough MPG update on highway driving um, because it's about 200, almost 250 miles. Uh, going to Mandeville from my house. Be a good little test for highway MPGs. As far as driving around the city and stuff like that, I guess I'll shoot another video when I get back into town or I'll just add it to this video in the next day. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate your support. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also hit that notification bell so you get notified next time I upload a video. Here, let me go ahead and show you the MPGs. All right, we're gonna go ahead and reset it. Hopefully it doesn't look too blurry. Right, there we go. And it always takes about 30 seconds or a minute for it to update. It's not like the 11 through 16s where it updates it immediately. That's the instant fuel economy with the reset. So I will make sure to shoot y'all an update here in a little bit. All right, so here's an update. We're almost at the customer's house and about 200, 250 miles later, here's uh, what the fuel economy is showing. All right, so I haven't reset it since I showed y'all. Been going about 65, 70. Uh, for most of the time and then sometimes on these back roads we've been going about 58 59 so that's pretty good I think you know 23 miles per gallon especially on 37 mud grapplers not too bad let me know down in the comments below what your truck's fuel economy is uh, or do you even care about fuel economy for me I mean it's just fun I don't really care about how much I use for fuel or whatever it's just more of a uh, a thing so that y'all can know because I get questions all the time how much how much fuel economy do you get are you seeing big fuel economy gains with the deletes and not or whatnot so it's more for y'all you know for more information I will say these newer trucks I mean that I think the 10 speed is a big difference aside from the small engine differences on the fuel economy for these trucks. All right, y'all, so this is the next day, and I'm back in town. I just filled up my truck. My range is saying 640 miles to E, which is pretty crazy, um, but it's gonna go down, of course, because now I'm gonna be driving in town, and it's gonna be a lot of stop and go. I've got a, my boat behind me that I'm, I'm using to fill up right now, and a lot of idle time as well so it's gonna go down but I want I'm curious to see how far it goes down might give it a couple days to kind of average out to see what the MPG will come out to sorry about the camera being shaky it's I'm going over a bridge and there's a lot of joints and stuff like that on it this video is gonna be over the span of a couple days so sorry if that messes y'all up or anything like that I mean that's the only way I don't drive a ton ton to where I can do it within one day and I don't think it'd be really realistic to just base city MPG or you know in town MPG based off of just one day I'll update y'all as the day goes on but here I'll show you all what I'm seeing now all right so right now it's gone down from 23 to 22.3 and it's gonna continue to go down for uh, the next day or so as I'm driving just in town doing a lot of idling and accelerating stop and go um, towing my boat uh, and whatever I'm doing so it's gonna go down uh, my guess is you know I, I don't really know what it's gonna be let me know down in the comments below what your average MPG is on the highway and in town give me a guess of what y'all think it's gonna be 
my guess is going to be maybe about 19 or 18, I hope. Uh, that would be pretty impressive. I had to run to the store. Last Shout out to the <laughs> Mr. Austin for staying late. And there are people in there too. I know it. All right, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and put this 40 in here. Press it. Yeah. All right, let's see. All right, you ready to ride? Just get in and try it. If you don't like it, you can get out. Here we go. All right, Kennedy, let's go. The maiden voyage, here we go. Ready? <laughs> Whoa, let's go. She gone. Dude, that's awesome. She <laughs> freaking rooster tail. She tore that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's fast. Oh, oh no problem. Somebody's having fun. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that thing is awesome. Yeah. Look at that. That is sweet. sweet. You want to bubble try? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go in the car. It's a drill battery. Sponsored by D Wall. <laughs> We're not sponsored. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, y'all. So it's been a few days now of me driving the truck around town and just a little bit of highway running back and forth, just driving around. So this is my average. 21 average miles per gallon. And actually with the speedometer being a little off, it's actually gonna be a little bit higher than that. And I did not reset it completely. So, uh, you know, it might be a little high, but I mean, I'd say that's pretty good for an average. I've, I'm almost at 4,200 miles now. And I think I'm getting about, you know, 2021, ish something like that mixed driving which i think is pretty good for a f-250 with 37s and things like that so that's it for this video i hope you all enjoyed it i'm sorry i haven't uploaded this past week it's been really busy and i've got a very busy week ahead of me with work and things like that hey make sure to if you're not already please hit that like and subscribe and turn on your notification bell i looked at the data the other day and it says only 10 percent of y'all have hit that notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you all have a great day, and stay tuned for the next video. See ya.